All right, so the goal of this vlog is to shoot this entire video using nothing but the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Might use a few other accessories like different microphones or other things, but not rely on some of my better mirrorless cameras or cinema cameras, just nothing but this. Man, I hate these meters because they only take coins. Oh wait, oh hey, we got lucky. There's 40 minutes in this one. Oh, you do have coins. Of course I have You coins. lied to me. Carrie was like, I don't have any coins. Well, because it's just so ridiculous because you know I brought coins. Carrie is always prepared. And look at that shallow depth of field. This is an artificial depth of field there. That's real out of the rear sensor which is larger so oh man this looks really nice man every time i look at this camera i'm shocked at how good it looks this looks better than a lot of professional cameras out there had a nice walk by the beach and obviously it's dark now so this front facing camera isn't going to be that good here so it's going to start making sense to switch over so i'm going to go ahead and switch over to this camera and does this look better i don't know because i can't even see the shot but I imagine so. All right, so you carry around an 11 Pro Max. Is it too big for you? They don't make girls clothes with big enough pockets for a regular phone anyway, so. You might as well just kind of well put it in a bag. <laughs> I think aside from the camera, the biggest reason why I'm going for the Max version of the 12 is because of that battery life. Like this 12 Pro Max battery will last me like two days. And also I watch a lot of YouTube on the phone. Even when there's like a giant TV right next to me, and like a lot of times I just pull out my phone watch a video on there 10 years ago if you were to see this shot you'll be like oh yeah that's a professional camera isn't there like a point where you think that it can't get any better yeah i mean there's only so much you can improve with software and apple's been really good at making the software on these cameras really really good and super intelligent but this 12 pro max has upgraded hardware itself it has a bigger sensor and a good solid lens and ibis so i feel like it was starting to cap out the limits of the hardware but now we have bigger hardware so now we can kind of step it up from here so this is the standard wide angle lens or the one x lens and this is the selfie camera which still looks good but not nearly as good i mean this looks like a camera phone huh like that looks like yeah. camera phone footage but then i flip it around and oh yeah that's like a hundred times better maybe not a hundred times maybe like 16 and a half times better but it's better is that you telling me how boring I am? No, I'm just tired. Tired of your face. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about cameras every freaking second of the day. Cameras, lens, camera, lens, lens, sensor, lens, lens. Ibis, don't forget Ibis. Ibis. <laughs> so check it out, terrible low light and wide angle. And as I zoom in, 0. 0.6, 0. 0.8, Please 0. 0.9. And as soon as I get to one, oh, see that improvement? Ultra wide, wide, ultra wide, wide all right so today we are out testing out some new toys but my van kind of smells like pee pee so thanks dylan <laughs> to give you guys a little bit of context i'll play back the clip i sent them so i come into the van this morning and it smells like piss in here whoever used this bathroom last didn't close the this thing it was left open so all the the scent the the febreze of piss it's just coming out. No, we don't want that. All right, one of the things that's really nice about filming on the iPhone is that it's just like, right now I have this phone mounted where I usually put it for GPS, but it's also a pretty decent camera angle too. Where is this place? We're going to the middle of nowhere. Wow, there is a coyote right there, wow. Hey there. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Let's go 7X, wow. Look at that guy. So a lot of you guys have been telling me in the comments that I should hack these goggles to get a little bit more output. Right now, I think it's capped at 750. I can get it up to a thousand, which I believe is still legal in the US. I'm not sure. I actually have no idea what I'm talking about. And you could also put it up to 1200. That would be illegal, right? So don't do that. But it's an option now after I did this little trickery in these goggles. Very easy to do though. So I do want to test out if I can get a little bit more range out of this thing. Now I know I'm supposed to film this whole video on this iPhone, but just, just, just one, this one time, I'm going to cut to this GoPro. Let's go for a little flight. Oh yeah, it's definitely a whole lot better. My old goggles would have lost it there for sure. Oh my God, for a second, I got completely lost. I was looking for myself right here. I didn't realize I'm all the way over here. Okay, so that's one thing I have to be more careful about with these goggles having so much more range. I really have to pay attention to where I am in relation to the drone. Ooh, okay. Oh yeah, way more range though. I just gotta be careful not to forget where I started though. So I appreciate the suggestion, guys. Yeah, this is way more fun. Don't do it though, unless you check with your regulations and make sure you do it legally. 
right? Or something like that. That's what I'm supposed to say, I think. Also, I just pulled out my Apple Watch, which I haven't used in a little while, but I just paired it to this new phone. But now I'm seeing a feed of this camera, which is nice. It's very choppy right now, but at least I can see my frame. Reason why I'm excited about this is that I'm using the selfie camera right now, but here, let me go ahead and turn it around. All right, so now I'm using the rear camera, and of course I can't see the frame, but now I can see the frame here on my watch. It's very choppy, but at least I can see the edges of my frame. So if you do vlog on an iPhone, I could see this being a pretty useful little feature. Now I know the camera is a little bit too low. So let me come back and bring it up a little bit. And see, that's the part that kind of sucks about using the rear camera is you can't see your frame. So now I have full confidence of what's in the frame. I know the camera is recording. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So if I'm all the way back here, I can still kind of see my frame, but my audio is probably not going to be that great because I'm a little bit further back. But check this out. I got this little Tascam thing, and this is a audio recording lavalier. And I'm sure there's some wireless microphones that you can hook straight up to the phone. But what I like about this is that I could monitor my audio from here. I'm going to go ahead and hit record. So I will have to sync this audio with this video in post-production or in editing. So let me give me a little clap. Now I know where to match this audio with this video feed. And now I know that I have pretty good audio and I can monitor my feed. So check it out. Oh yeah, I could be all the way over here and still be talking. This is pretty cool. I think this might be the limit to the range of how far I could go for the video feed on my watch. I've got my hand up right now. Will it update on this watch? Oh yeah, there you go, on the watch. It takes a couple seconds. So really, it's not a good monitoring tool, but hey, it kind of works for what I'm trying to do right here. You could film this all by yourself. Not a bad setup, huh? You know, when it comes to vlogs, a lot of times I feel like the audio is just as important as the video, if not more important. So audio is something that I'm always thinking about. But yeah, hopefully this sounds pretty good right here. Guess let's go for another flight. I'm obsessed with this thing. Oh gosh, this is so much fun having this extra reach with this thing. Can I make it through this light post thing? Yeah, <laughs> going the other way. <laughs> okay, before I crash this thing, let me bring it back. Table landing here and whoo, all right. Also, one feature I like about this Tascam is that my voice tends to be pretty inconsistent in terms of how loud I talk. So I can record two channels, one louder and one lower. So in case I get really excited, like I probably just did while flying this thing, I have a backup track that won't be clipped. So that's kind of nice. I'd be curious to see how this video turns out because I know for sure the camera itself is pretty dang good. As long as you pair it with some good audio and some decent editing, it should be at the level where you completely forget that this is all being shot on a phone. And being able to monitor this camera with the watch this thing is useful. I really want an iPhone where they make the front facing camera really solid. That'd be really cool. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the camera right here from my watch and cut. Look at this, I can monitor the shot through my watch. Whoa. Yeah, kind of cool, right? And you wanna see something else cool? You know how we can see that you're wearing my underwear? <laughs> I can zoom in a little bit to yeah. get past that. Oh, no, I zoomed out, sorry. That's the opposite <laughs> direction I wanna go. <laughs> also check it out i'm still using this microphone but it's hidden hiding the lavalier is great because you know it's less distracting but at the same time you have to be careful about clothing noise rubbing up against it but this stuff's supposed to be pretty good it's called ursa tape but you could also use moleskin which you could just get at like any sort of pharmacy actually this ursa tape is a type of moleskin but yeah i just finished cutting yesterday's footage and yeah when i put this microphone on and use the better camera of this phone it looks and sounds really good. Like it wasn't bothering me at all that it was shot on a phone. I think the biggest problem with shooting on a phone is the audio. Once you can fix that, I think it's a really solid setup. All right, we made it to our staycation hotel room, which we got for free because of uh, credit card rewards. And it's a Kimpton, which is our favorite because they are very lenient with bringing your dogs. So we got to bring the whole family. And no pet fees, right? And no pet fees, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty weird packing for this trip because usually I fill up my camera bag with all these different camera bodies, lenses, memory cards, chargers, all that stuff. But I just bought the phone, this watch, and this microphone if I decide I want this watch to sound better.
I think our days of going out are over. Like it's so much fun to just come back to the hotel room with food and eat in bed, isn't it? My bubbly. <laughs> yeah, this is way better than going out. Hotel rooms are great. Also, we've been taking her out for walks and she does not seem to want to poop. So hopefully we don't wake up with a poop in our room. <laughs> Best part of the hotel is that it's right next to their favorite place in the universe. Yeah, so I feel like when the audio quality is good, it's easy to forget that this is being filmed on a phone. I'm gonna go ahead and put my lav mic right there. I got one piece of Ursa tape that I already peeled and I'm gonna make a little Ursa tape sandwich or moleskin sandwich as they say. I'm gonna go ahead and put it right there. And now I'm gonna go ahead and switch from this microphone to this right now. Does it sound better? Does it sound cleaner? I know in here, I feel like we get less echo. So I'm just gonna leave this in my pocket. I wonder how long this thing can record for on a single battery. It's just a AAA battery in there. But there is a sense of freedom to be able to just leave the camera all the way over here and come over here and we can record audio from here. Uh -huh. How's the clothing noise, by the way? Is it mounted pretty good? For women, you would put it right there in between the boobies. And that's a nice little cavity. Sorry, I called your boobs a cavity. I apologize. I didn't mean it's- I'm didn't... more offended that you call them boobies. <laughs> By the way, there's plenty of other lavalier options that you can, you know, take the microphone, plug it straight into the phone if that's what you want to do. I like this one because I can use it with any camera. I could use it with the phone. I could use it with a GoPro. I could use it with a drone. You know, the wireless one, you can't really connect it to the drone, right? But this, I always have something that I can just record an extra track on. Well, I forgot to mention that you want to make a loop so that you're not going to be tugging away at your microphone. I think we're gonna go wash the van. Here we are. It's definitely overdue for a car wash. Isn't it cool that we get crystal clear audio all the way from over here? Yeah. That's fun, huh? That is so fun. Yeah. You think it's super fun? It's so fun. Is that a sarcastic Mic fun? Microphone. Okay, so yeah. no, you know what's fun? Is that that change machine over there, it doesn't give you quarters, it gives you gold dollars. What? Whoa. Okay, we have what, 15 so minutes to do this? The bugs do not want to come off. Oh, I just realized the phone's waterproof. I can bring that in over here. Oh, okay, what's yeah. next? The foam is next? Oh my God, it's foamy. Oh yeah. We need a ladder or one of our tall friends. So ultra wide angle lens now. Okay. Oh no, are you okay? Did I get you? Oh my God, we murdered so many bugs. Oh yeah, look how clean it is up here. I'm so happy. Drying off the rags is very satisfying. And so is the shallow depth of field. So satisfying. Oh yeah. I feel like we should probably wrap up this vlog. The only thing is I'm using my phone to record so I can't really use it to read the comments. Hey Carrie, do you have your phone on you? Yeah. I need it to read comments. Man, I think this is the most I've ever used a lavalier and I actually kind of like it because I don't have to really talk loud. Every time I step a little bit further away from the camera or whenever there's a lot of noise going on, I have to try to project more. So that's why I'm always, always talking like this. No, the worst thing Hey, you're touching my oh, microphone. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The worst thing is when we're at a restaurant. Soon Dylan is gonna add more and more shots of himself in these vlogs to take over this channel. <laughs> Dylan talking about emotion at the end of the vlog. Great stuff. And he came up with those lines just like that. Wow. Dylan's pretty like fast, huh? He, he'll come up yeah, with random very, stuff. He's very quick witted, yeah. You have to talk towards my boobs. <laughs> if I'm like this distant from you, can you say something? Something. I'd be curious to see how well the microphone still picks you up. Dylan hearing about people peeing on each other. Just another day at the office. A wild R. Kelly <laughs> appears. <laughs> I'm thinking in about six weeks, we will get the selling our van episode. No, honestly, like this van has been life changing. It, it, every single day we're in it, whether it's for us having fun or we work out of it. Yeah, this thing's, this thing's awesome though. Like I, I plan on having this thing forever or at least a van of some sort he's holding out for the tesla yeah version. elon <laughs> musk made a tesla camper van oh am i out of frame i don't know i don't have my apple watch 